What's up cubers? My name is Kenneth. Today I'm going to show you how I made this Christmas tree pattern on this 13 by 13. And I'm not really interested in showing you exactly how I made it, but I really want to give you guys the tools to make whatever pattern you want on whatever cube you have. So hopefully uh, by the end of this, you guys can figure out how to make uh, your, your own patterns. And if you do make a pattern, definitely send it to me. I want to see it either on Instagram or maybe even Snapchat. I'm not quite sure how to use it, but uh, definitely add me and maybe uh, I'll, you guys can teach me. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video and yeah, let's get started. So before we build the Christmas tree on the large cube, let's take a look at the algorithm just on a Rubik's cube that we're going to use. And basically, if you want to move a green center to the white side, and that's basically what we're going to do, we're going to move green centers to the white side. All you have to do is have green on top and white on the front and move that green center down like that. Then you want to move this green center over to the side to save it kind of on this white side so it's protected over here. Then you can undo the first move and move the green layer back to the top and then undo this uh, move to put the red layer back. And there we go, we've brought our green center down. Now we can do that as well uh, on any piece we like or groups of pieces. So if we want to make like this piece right here green, we can bring the green piece down, then we can move it over to the side. We can then put the green piece back or the green layer back up and then put the red layer back. And now we've got a, a green piece on this side. So um, basically that's how we're gonna do it. So the real challenge is to first design what you want. So here's what I want, it's a green tree and let's start building that. So to build the tree, I'm gonna basically start at the bottom and I'm gonna start with this group at the bottom. So we're gonna move the middle three layers down because we wanna do a group of pieces and then we wanna get this entire group here and we wanna save that group so we can move that group of pieces off to the side like that, there we go. So they're safe over here. Now we can put the green layers back up and the red layers back to the side. So there we've done a group of pieces. So the next group of pieces we wanna do is this entire layer. So let's bring that entire layer down. So we wanna save that entire layer over on the side. So let's put it over there. Now we can return the green layers and return that red layer. There we go. So the next one is another group of uh, two layers. We can bring the green layers down. This time it's a little thinner. And then we can save those green layers over to the side like that. We can return the green layers and return the red layers. So we can do the next two layers as a group. Put them to the side for safekeeping. Return the green layers and return the red layers. All right, we're getting close. The next one is a group of two layers, so let's bring those down. We can save those two layers over to the side. Bring those ones up and move these two back. All right, so now we have to do one layer at a time, so we'll do these three pieces. So bring those three. We're only gonna move one layer over to the side. Bring that back up. And now we just have that last piece. So we're gonna bring that piece down, move it over to the side, bring it back up and bring this back. Okay, we've built our tree. So now that we have our tree, we want to decorate it. And decorating the cube isn't difficult, but it is uh, a lot harder to solve the cube again once it's decorated because you kind of forget what order you put the pieces on and that, that kind of matters. So you want to um, be careful uh, going from here, but uh, you, the fun part is you guys can customize it however you like. 
So I really like uh, red, so I'm gonna put a lot of red ornaments on the tree. So first I'm gonna start with this piece here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the red down. I'm going to bring white over, put red back, and then bring the green over. So here it is. Um, I'm gonna first bring the red down. So now that the red, that's the piece I want, I'm gonna save it just like I was. And then I can return this layer and return that layer. So there we go, I have a single ornament. So now I can do another red one. Let's do this one here. It's looking good, let's do another red one. How about right here? All right, it's starting to look pretty good. Um, how about another red one here? That's good for red. Let's get some yellow ones. For sure we want a yellow top. So now for yellow, I think what I'm gonna do is I'll bring in the yellow to the side. Then I need to save it on the bottom and return it. So let's bring, so it's a little bit different now. So yellow comes in from the top or from the side. I wanna save this layer now on the bottom. So we can do that this way. And then we can return this one over to the side and return this to the top. There we go. So now we can do the same thing for uh, a few more yellow ones. We can save the entire column on the bottom and we can continue just doing the same strategy. So now we wanna add some blue and we can see most of the blues are opposite green. So we can't easily put the blue ones on the green side, but we can see over here on the yellow side, we have some blues already um, that are the kind of from these. They've been mirrored over here. So we can actually steal some of the mirrored ones. So we can have a, either that one, this one, this one, or that one. Um, and so we can do that now. So let's bring in, um, how about this one? I like that one. So we'll bring that in from the side. And here we have it. So now we can save this column by moving it to the bottom and returning the two layers. There we go. Now we got a blue ornament. Looks pretty good. We can add another one. Let's add, let's add this one here. So we can bring that one over from the side, save this whole column down on the bottom. We can put this layer back and put that layer back. All right, we're looking really good. Um, I think, I think we could just call that a Christmas tree and be done with it. I'm pretty happy with it. So besides putting Christmas trees on Rubik's cubes, don't forget, you could also put Rubik's cubes on Christmas trees. And, uh, and if you also want some inspiration on patterns to make, uh, definitely check out my Instagram. So that's how I made the Christmas tree pattern on the 13 by 13. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks guys for watching. And of course, have a great day.